calculating a volume of revolution. So we'll start in main and enter our function. Here we go. 1, 1 plus the square root of x. And I'll tap execute just to make sure all's good. Now, um, we'll do it kind of um, using an integral to start off with. So we'll tap onto math2 to get the calculus templates. Here's our integral template. I'm going to go back up to math1 and put in a set of brackets because we want to make sure we wrap the function uh, inside a set of brackets to begin with. Uh, then we want to square it, so we'll square that and then we'll always need a pi floating around there, won't we? So here we go. Now that's going to be with respect to x and we want the limits to be between 1 and 4. So we'll tap 1 and down the bottom, 4 for our upper limit of uh, we're in standard real degrees, that should all be fine. We'll tap execute and we get an exact value here. And uh, if I choose action transform approx, then there's a, a decimal approximation to it using the approx tool. Now that's pretty okay. Now, um, the other way to have a look at this is graphically. So I'm going to get myself a bit of graph paper in the downstairs window and take a copy of our function and drop it into that window. And there's the actual function and we want to find the volume of revolution between 1 and 4. So here we go up to the analysis menu, G solve. And the very bottom item here is a volume of revolution. So ClassBat is asking us for the lower band at the moment. So the quickest way is simply to say 1. Um, and then up comes this entry box where we can put the lower is 1, the upper is 4 and tap OK and then the volume is sort of sketched out for us and um, you can see it's come up with exactly the same answer it's a little bit muffled here if i tap onto it that's better it puts it into the information box at the bottom and you can compare and you can see they're exactly the same values there